In the vast theater of the cosmos, a faint whisper has finally reached us. A message encoded in a sliver of light from a distant world, 500 light years away. Today, September 21st, 2025, we stand at a precipice. For the first time, we have detected a potential biosignature, a chemical fingerprint of life, on a planet beyond our solar system. The universe has always spoken through physics and chemistry. We just needed a powerful enough ear to listen. This discovery didn't arrive with a thunderous announcement, but as a subtle dip in a line on a graph, a specific wavelength missing from an exoplanet's atmospheric data. That missing light was absorbed by something remarkably similar to chlorophyll, the molecule that powers most life on Earth. For centuries, we've wondered, are we alone? The data now before us suggests, compellingly, that the answer might be no. This is the culmination of centuries of astronomical observation, from Galileo's telescope to the James Webb Space Telescope. We found thousands of exoplanets, but the ultimate question, do any harbor life, has always remained just out of reach. This is not yet definitive proof, but it is the most significant and tantalizing clue humanity has ever uncovered. It's a signpost, pointing us to a specific world and urging us to look closer. The story of our universe just gained its most exciting chapter. The silence of the cosmos has been broken, not by a shout, but by the gentle, persistent whisper of biology. We are no longer just observers. We are witnesses to a new cosmic reality. To grasp the magnitude of this finding, we must appreciate the instrument that made it possible, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. Launched in 2021, JWST is the most powerful space observatory ever built, designed to see the universe in infrared light. Its gold-coated mirror, spanning six and a half meters, gives it unprecedented sensitivity to faint cosmic signals. JWST operates at the second Lagrange point, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, kept frigid by a tennis court-sized sunshield. Its four scientific instruments, NIRCAM, NAIRSPEC, MIRI, and FGS, are its eyes and analytical brain. Crucially, JWST's ability to perform spectroscopy allows it to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets. By watching a planet transit its star, JWST can read the starlight filtered through the planet's atmosphere, revealing its chemical makeup. This is the technique that led to today's monumental announcement. JWST's mission is to study the first light, the birth of stars, the evolution of galaxies, and, most relevant now, the atmospheres of distant worlds. Its observations have transformed our search for life from speculation to data-driven science. The telescope's golden eye has opened a new window onto the universe. With JWST, we are not just looking farther, we are finally seeing what was once invisible. The cosmos is revealing its secrets, one spectrum at a time. The focus of this extraordinary discovery is Kepler 186f, first identified in 2014. Orbiting a red dwarf star in Cygnus, 500 light years away, it was the first Earth sized planet found in its star's habitable zone. Kepler 186f is about 10% larger than Earth and receives dim, reddish light, like Earth at sunset. Its position in the habitable zone and Earth like size made it a prime target for JWST. Observing its atmosphere was a technical feat, requiring over 50 hours of JWST's time across multiple transits. The goal transmission spectroscopy to detect atmospheric gases and potential biosignatures. What scientists found was far more profound than anyone dared hope. Kepler 186f has become the most compelling candidate for life beyond our solar system. JWST's data revealed water vapor and carbon dioxide in Kepler 186f's atmosphere, key ingredients for life. But then, a shock, a broad absorption feature in the red part of the spectrum, the so-called red edge, a hallmark of photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll. On Earth, this red edge is the spectral signature of vegetation. The team ruled out non-biological explanations. No known mineral or aerosol produces such a sharp feature at this wavelength. The absorption band matches chlorophyll A, the most common photosynthetic pigment on Earth. 
The signal's strength suggests this pigment is widespread, perhaps vast forests or algal blooms. This is a biosignature, a chemical trace difficult to explain without life. The simplest explanation is biological. Photosynthesis may not be unique to Earth. The raw data from JWST was a stream of numbers. Light intensities at thousands of wavelengths. Scientists combined data from five transits, stacking it to reveal faint atmospheric features. The resulting spectrum confirmed a substantial atmosphere, with clear signatures of water and carbon dioxide. But the pivotal discovery was the broad absorption band between 650 and 700 nanometers. Months of reanalysis confirmed. The feature was real, not an artifact. Statistical models showed a 5 sigma detection, only a 1 in 3.5 million chance it's a fluke. In science, 5 sigma is the gold standard for discovery. The data is unambiguous. Something on Kepler 186F is absorbing red light in a way that mimics photosynthetic life. This is not just a hint, it's a compelling case. The evidence has changed everything about our search for life. In 1990, Voyager 1's pale blue dot image showed Earth as a lonely speck in the cosmic dark. Today's discovery challenges that solitude. We may now see a second point of light, a pale red dot harboring life. Astrobiology shifts from theory to observation. We have a real target a planetary laboratory 500 light years away. The questions are now tangible. How does this life differ? Does it produce oxygen? How has it adapted to its red sun? Every major observatory will now focus on Kepler 186F, searching for more biosignatures and mapping its surface. We are no longer just searching for habitable planets, we are searching for inhabited ones. This validates the investment in telescopes like JWST and will drive the next generation of instruments. The door to inhabited worlds is open. The pale blue dot may no longer be alone. Our cosmic perspective has changed forever. The search for life has a new beginning. Detecting a chlorophyll-like signature on a planet orbiting a red dwarf is a game-changer. Red dwarfs are the most common stars in the Milky Way, with lifespans far longer than our suns. If life thrives around red dwarfs, the number of potentially inhabited worlds skyrockets. These systems pose challenges, close orbits, tidal locking, and intense stellar flares. Yet Kepler 186F's strong signal suggests life can adapt, even in harsh conditions. Perhaps a magnetic field or underwater life shields it from radiation. This finding upgrades red dwarf systems from questionable to highly promising for life. Future missions will now prioritize red dwarf planets in their search. The discovery shatters our solar chauvinism. Life may flourish in environments very different from Earth's. The universe's blueprint for life is more flexible than we imagined. This discovery sends a tremor through human philosophy and our sense of self. For millennia, we saw ourselves as the lone consciousness in a lifeless universe. Now, even simple photosynthetic life on another world universalizes biology. This isn't intelligent aliens, but it's perhaps more profound life itself may be a common outcome of cosmic chemistry. If life happened there, it likely happened elsewhere. Life is not Earth's exclusive miracle. This realization deepens our responsibility to protect our own biosphere, a unique branch of a vast cosmic tree. The questions are ancient. What is life's purpose if it's not unique? How does this affect our place in creation? We are not the sole proprietors of life, but one expression of it. This knowledge expands our wonder and humility. We are connected to the cosmos not just by atoms, but by the very process of life. The universe is alive in more ways than we ever imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope's landmark observation marks a turning point in human history. By analyzing Kepler 186F's atmosphere, it detected a red edge, evidence for a chlorophyll-like pigment and possibly life. This is a data-driven hypothesis, backed by five sigma confidence, transforming astrobiology. The discovery on a red dwarf planet expands the number of possible living worlds dramatically. We now ask, what is this life like? It's a monumental leap in our cosmic exploration. The implications ripple through science, philosophy, and our collective identity. We may not be alone. Biology could be a fundamental feature of the cosmos. This is the opening line in a new chapter of our cosmic story. 
the work has just begun. A generation will be inspired to push further. The whisper from Kepler 186F leaves us with the most profound question. What other forms has life taken across the universe?